Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Adam Moose, and today in this series called In Depth, I'm going to be breaking down everything that you need to know about Rek'Sai Jungle. Rek'Sai is a powerful ganking jungler with tons of damage and a very unique playstyle. Although she does not have any fancy mechanics, understanding how to maximize her strengths will greatly increase your success on the champ. If you enjoy the content, it really helps me out if you could leave a like and comment on the video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to talk with me and other members in the community looking to improve, be sure to join the Discord link that's in the description. Hope you guys can learn something. Enjoy the video. Rek'Sai's passive is called Fury of the Zerk'Sai. Rek'Sai generates 25 Fury upon dealing damage with basic attacks, Prey Seeker, Unburrow, or Furious Bite. If she has not generated any Fury in the last 5 seconds, she then loses 20 Fury per second. While burrowed, Rek'Sai consumes her current Fury over 3 seconds, either healing until she consumes all the Fury, or when she reaches full health. This is a simple passive that allows Rek'Sai to sustain during her clear or in fights. It also empowers her E, which we'll discuss in a bit. Rek'Sai's Q is called Queen's Wrath and Prey Seeker. When unburrowed, Queen's Wrath empowers Rek'Sai's next three basic attacks within five seconds, dealing bonus physical damage to the target and all surrounding enemies. The primary target is affected by critical strike modifiers as well. Most importantly, this acts as an auto attack reset, meaning you should always try to auto Q to increase DPS, wall clearing, and in fights. When burrowed, Prey Seeker fires out a Void Charged Pulse in the target direction that detonates on the first enemy hit, dealing physical damage in a small area and revealing them for 2.5 seconds. This is a great tool to poke, tag enemies for your ult, and to reveal enemies out of vision when face checking dangerous areas. Rek'Sai's W is called Burrow and Unburrow. Rek'Sai burrows into the ground, reducing her sight radius to 250 units but gaining bonus movement speed, becoming ghosted. This gives Rek'Sai access to all of her burrowed abilities and activates her Tremor Sense. Tremor Sense allows Rek'Sai and all of her allies to gain obscured vision of nearby enemy units that are not visible every 1.5 seconds if they're moving. This is an extremely valuable tool, which allows Rek'Sai to scout enemies in Fog of War, allowing for sneaky assassinations or to predict enemies' movement to position accordingly. For Unburrow, you guessed it, Rek'Sai unburrows out of the ground, dealing physical damage to surrounding enemies and knocking them aside. The enemy closest to the center is knocked up for a second and cannot be affected again for some time. Rek'Sai can also trigger unburrow by using an attack command while burrowed, applying the knock up against the target. Flash unburrow is a very basic but extremely effective combo to quickly reposition and knock up enemies, which is crucial to master. This is Rek'Sai's only form of utility which is mainly used to single out vulnerable targets and then burst them down. Rek'Sai's E is called Furious Bite and Tunnel. While unburrowed, Rek'Sai uses Furious Bite against a target enemy, dealing physical damage. At maximum fury, Furious Bite's damage is doubled and is converted to true damage. Although very simple, making use of her empowered E is a massive difference maker when looking to burst down enemies. While burrowed, Rek'Sai dashes in the target direction, leaving behind a tunnel with two interconnected entrances which last up to 10 minutes. The tunnel can be traversed again if Rek'Sai targets either entrance, putting it on a short cooldown. You can have 8 pairs of entrances active on the map at the same time, and forming subsequent tunnels beyond the max destroys the oldest one. Enemy champions can destroy your tunnels by standing on them for 1.5 seconds, giving them 5 gold. Rek'Sai automatically burrows before entering and unburrows after exiting a tunnel. It's also important to keep in mind that any immobilization, ground, or silence will stop you from entering a tunnel. This is an extremely unique spell that allows good Rek'Sai players to pull off creative ganks and simply save a ton of time while moving around the map. Rek'Sai's ultimate is called Void Rush. Passively, Rek'Sai applies a mark to enemies she damages, making them her prey for five seconds. If an enemy is marked as prey, Rek'Sai could Void Rush to them, becoming Displacement Immune and vanishing in the ground for 1.5 seconds. She then emerges from the ground near the target and pounces at them, dealing physical damage upon arrival and landing behind them. 
this is a really useful assassination tool, especially paired with your Q Prey Seeker, since this can be used from long range to pick off low health enemy targets. In close range duels, bursting an enemy down to low health then ulting allows you to put out all of your damage and then go intargetable, dropping aggro and forcing enemies to run away. Enemies can also dodge your R if they move 1000 or more units away. Although not too common, don't be too surprised if this happens and the damage does not go off. For ability maxing, although most people max Q first, E second, and W third, most top Rek'Sai players put 3 points into Q and then max E second since it provides more damage in the mid game. Now that we've got Rek'Sai's abilities down, let's talk about her best rune choices for the current meta. Rek'Sai has two main rune setups depending on if you want to go for full burst into squishy teams or more of a bruiser style into tankier enemies. For burst options, Electrocute and Halo Blades are going to be your go-to choices. Although Halo Blades is pretty solid, Electrocute is by far the best option since your one-shot potential becomes unbelievably high with an unburrow combo. Although First Strike is a new rune that seems not bad on certain assassins, the Inspiration Tree first does not provide Rek'Sai with as much power as the Domination Tree does. To close out the Domination page, Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, and either Ingenious or Relentless Hunter are the best current page for a combination of burst damage and snowball potential once you pick up some early kills. Now for secondaries, there are two main options. First is a sorcery tree with either absolute focus and water walking or nimbus cloak and water walking. Absolute focus is a choice for more burst and assassination power, while nimbus cloak is a strong choice to give yourself extra movement speed to gap close against enemies. Next up would be inspiration secondary with magical footwear and cosmic insight or magical footwear and approach velocity. Although Cosmic Insight is my preferred rune, I do see a lot of high elo rec size running approach velocity paired with blue smite, so just keep that in mind. Now if you're looking for the most consistent option, Conquer is a great choice. To close out the precision tree, Triumph and either Legend Alacrity for more DPS, or Legend Tenacity versus heavy CC teams, and Coup de Grasse or Last Stand to finish it off. You can run this setup with either secondary mentioned earlier, so make sure you decide on the best choice for your current game. For rune shards, attack speed, adaptive force, and either armor or magic resist based on your jungle matchup and enemy team comp. Now that you've chosen your rune setup, let's discuss Rek'Sai's item builds. For starters, Blue Smite is going to be the best choice in most cases, especially into squishier teams. Red Smite and Conqueror is a really strong dueling combo into bruisers, just remember that Blue Smite pairs amazingly with Rek'Sai's kit. It's also important to mention that picking up Oracle Lens is going to be crucial on Rek'Sai. Since you do not have a big vision radius when you're burrowed, Sweeper is very helpful to scan bushes and areas where enemies are standing still. This also greatly aids in ganking, which we'll discuss later. For Boots, Plated Steel Caps for anti-AD auto attack based teams, Merc Treads against heavy crowd control, and in very rare cases, Mobility Boots if you don't need either and want to snowball the game out of control. For Mythics, Rek'Sai's most consistent choice by far is Prowler's Claw. The extra dash it provides pairs perfectly with her knockup, allowing you to gap close, gain bonus damage, and one-shot your target. Stridebreaker and Gore Drinker are also choices I see in some rare cases, but to be honest, I don't really recommend either over Prowler's. For core items, Edge of Night, Sterax Gage, and Serpent's Fang are going to be the main options. Edge of Night for extra lethality and a shield into squishy teams, Sterax if you want to tank up a bit, and Serpent's Fang for pure damage into shielding comps. From this point, your main goal is to build as much damage as possible while also getting some defensive stats to allow you to engage. I see too many low elo Rek'Sai players tunneling in on one specific build instead of being flexible to fit whatever is needed for the current game. Learning this comes with time, but will pay off in dividends. Now let's jump right into Rek'Sai's pathing and jungle strategy. Rek'Sai has a very unique aggressive playstyle that relies on her making plays early on. First off is learning how to efficiently clear. It's important to always make use of your Q and E auto attack resets, along with your E's bonus true damage, to greatly speed up your farming. Another tip is to use your unburrow to aid in clearing AoE camps, such as raptors and wolves. This is self-explanatory, but will make a massive difference. The full clearing combo is simply Prey Seeker to leash the camp, Unburrow, Auto Q, Auto E, and then Auto. 
This maximizes damage output while building up rage for an empowered E. Besides clearing, Rek'Sai's burrow and tunnels greatly increase your map mobility. While coming out of base and in between camps, always remember to travel burrowed to make use of the bonus movement speed. In my opinion, Rek'Sai's tunnels are actually her highest skill cap ability. Not because the ability itself is difficult to use, but because of the experience and game knowledge you need to use it to its maximum potential. There are so many different gank angles to learn, usually behind walls, that allow for you to pull off plays no other jungler could. This also goes for in your jungle, where well-placed tunnels can allow you to quickly travel from camp to camp, which in turn, speeds up your clear. Lastly is using Tremor Sense to scout areas and gain extra information into Fog of War. Once you get the hang of using Tremor Sense, the information it gives can greatly improve your decision making. Examples of this is seeing enemy laners roaming, where the enemy jungler is, or even catching enemies out of position in their own jungle. Now for actual jungle clears, Rek'Sai has multiple options, so let's discuss her most common routes. Since Rek'Sai thrives at early ganking and playmaking, the two best routes by far are the 3 or 4 camp clear into gank or invade. This allows you to hit level 3 quickly and get onto the map either invading weak early game junglers who are trying to full clear, or ganking vulnerable laners to start snowballing right away. You can either clear Red Krug's Raptors into level 3, Red Raptors Gromp into level 3, or even Red Blue Gromp depending on which side of the map you're looking to path towards. The reason this works so well for Rek'Sai is since she can pretty much gank any lane from any angle, really taking advantage of immobile enemies. It's crucial that you're always paying attention to lane states and where the enemy jungler starts is clear to give yourself as much info as possible before deciding on your next move. After invading or pressuring lanes, you can then fall back to take one scuttle or even both if the situation is right. If there are really no plays to be made, you can fall back to a 5 or 6 camp clear, although not recommended, sometimes this will be your only choice. Brexai's biggest weakness is definitely that she can be a bit one dimensional and relies on fully committing to be useful. This can make playing her very difficult into champions with ton of peel such as Janna or CC tanks such as Leona. Making one small mistake can leave you instantly bursted, especially since you're building mostly damage. To build on this, Rek'Sai can struggle in late game teamfights as well. Since her main goal is to focus down one specific target, this gets more and more difficult when enemies are grouped up. This gets even worse when ADCs and mid laners start building defensive items, making your job even harder. Lastly, Rek'Sai is actually quite difficult to master. She's not the hardest champion mechanically, but knowing how to carry games on her definitely takes some time to learn. Her playstyle requires good game knowledge and strong early decision making to succeed, especially since the late game gets pretty difficult to pull off. Now let's discuss what makes Rek'Sai such a threat in the jungle. First is simply how strong she is at ganking and deleting squishy champions. A good Rek'Sai player knows this and will prey on enemy squishies to get turbo fed. To build on this, Rek'Sai's tunnels provide her with so many playmaking options throughout a game. At first glance, they're just a good ganking tool, which is true, but in reality, her tunnels provide you with so much more than that. You can invade with a free escape path, you can build a chain of tunnels to move around the map faster, and you can even use multiple tunnels mid-fight to go in and out, baiting aggro and pressuring enemies. Another huge strength is how Tremor Sense provides your entire team with crucial information. In the early game, this is mainly used as an invading tool, but later on, this can be game deciding. In scenarios where the enemy team is trying to out-rotate you, or hide in a sneaky location, Tremor Sense gives you a massive edge. And lastly, Rek'Sai has some pretty good build diversity, especially between the Burst and Conqueror setups. This allows you to tailor your runes and items based on the game to greatly increase your effectiveness. Rek'Sai is an extremely strong carry jungler who has huge snowball potential in the right hands. She's a powerful assassin who has the unique ability to control both the map and vision. If you're looking for a champion who could dominate the early game through aggression and the mid to late game through macro, Rek'Sai is definitely the pick for you. That will do it for my season 12 in-depth guide on Rek'Sai Jungle. If you want to support my content, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to keep up with my weekly uploads. Most people who watch are not subbed, and any extra support really helps my channel grow. If you have any questions or opinions, 
be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll be giving away free coaching sessions every month to members of the Discord, so be sure to click the link in the description if you're interested. With all that being said, thanks again for watching. Until the next video, peace out.